And just like that, he died. He got folded. Yep. God, dog, boy. I got more questions now. What the hell is that nasty stuff? It look like old wounds or something like that. Like a nasty open wound. Brave Scions. What I could treat you to hear is welcome, but I hear urgent news from the Pugadilla Street. That's what it's going to be called from now. Hey, Grace, what is the matter? <clears throat> Dude got folded. Oh, no. Alpha no, don't like that. He got folded. Turn that man into a futon. Yep. <laughs> Turn him into that IKEA special. For real. For lay that man. Me and me and Estenia out there, and we like his big bros. Very well. They said, "Damn, that nigga busts his ass." I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dude just standing here in the background, just looking with the coat on, man? Hey, man. I'm just to be looking at us with that coat. Hey, he just back there looking. He ain't saying nothing. He's just looking at us, bro. Man's just back here in the gold coat, just looking like, yeah, man. I'm a part of this conversation. <laughs> I'm you helping me, man. I, I, I was, I, I gave you them cookies that one time. No, I don't know you, man. <laughs> I don't know you, man. I'm sorry. Maybe if you was relevant, I would know who you is. All right, where is this? What is close by? Alchemist Guild? Cool. Damn, it's nighttime already? On this game? That music turned real quick. Mm. Bing, 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 bing. But that 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 old dumb nighttime music do hit every time. I remember one time I was cleaning up the house and put this on and I ended up going to sleep. <laughs> like, dog, I can't listen to that no more. Alfredo, you can't be harassing me, man. Oh, cutscene. Yeah. Please, more of these. Please. Please, bro. Pay them voice actors and make more of these. Fodola. Have you been waiting here all this time? Less of the text and more of the talking. Mm -mm. We 
have done what we can. What we the can. Rest is up to him. The rest is up to him, man. You come out here sounding like what you call it? Like <clears throat> e may we see him? Sounding like Ivanka from freaking One Piece. When one when Luffy got, she gave Luffy that hormone to get that poison out of him, and the rest is up to him now. Luffy was in that Holland boy. I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Hey, yeah, that, that, that man got folded, man. He got to sleep that ass flipping off. He got slept, don't you understand? Now he got to sleep because he got slept. Lunar, freaking Lunar Ifrit hit him with that one P. Boop! Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Pushed. Could get have pushed. Got, got tempted? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. People die all the time for no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. Damn. She cold blooded. Every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. It may be. That victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. He said some real shit. You got a problem when you just start shrugging your shoulders and people dying. All life is precious. Grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. He didn't say, he didn't just say that. You heard what you wanted to hear. He said, he don't want, he said, don't shrug your shoulders when people just die. Like, don't be like, all right, everybody die, B. Right. When you get to that mindset, you like, you got a problem. Like, you just, life is, life is a beautiful thing. So when you just, when people start dying and you don't give a shit. <laughs> Now you're in a bad state of mind, girl. Stinian just chilling. You're right. <laughs> oh, he's chilling in the cut. Yeah. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The hero. Battlefields littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. And what will become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Girl, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you, baby? Mm. Who hurt you? Let the warrior light hug the pain away. God dang! Who hurt you? Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. I know, right, Astinian? Who hurt this girl, man? Oh yeah, this is a, they, yeah, text. I could tell by the head movement. I know. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go back with everybody else, pretty much. Uh, advice and signs. Okay, so we got to go have another meeting. <laughs> another meeting. He'll be alright.
You didn't even see him right there. Y'all just with these head nods, man. Everybody. A head nod gang, man. Head nod gang. Your grace. Pray forgive us our lateness. Oh, good. Thank God they talking. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. You should have been. Old. You should have been out there, little girl. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that, you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. Pippin? That's the other good, that's the other good Lala fell. What? My dog don't get no lines? Mm. Oh, y'all wrong. Pippin don't get no lines? Now Ifrit, or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Less certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Oh, yeah, they see the new one. Yeah, the big one. Assuming it, too, is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Girl, man, you keep if blowing it off. Like blowing it off. Summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. For a blessing, none appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Yeah, where they at? Where they at, though? Though Listen. we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the science only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. All right, the, the victory music. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible Damn, what the by fuck? the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. 
As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea? May these words ever be. Oh, that's the one that my Dark Knight uses. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends. I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. My boy Pippin didn't say nothing. Didn't say nothing. They robbed my boy, man, of his lines. Y'all ain't gonna do Pippin like that. Uh, back to the, the non-voice line stuff. Right, unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. Okay, so we're going back to the Rising Stones already. Alpha Note thinking. And that includes you, Alpha Note. Iron Veil is in good hands here. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing out of the infirmary. Let's retire then. That we might regain our strength and readiness of the coming challenges. I don't know why they didn't send him to Gradania. Gradania, they got that, that, that the lady is literally like the best white mage and like ever. I'll try to ask him, and thank you. I shall look forward to it. Our comrades eagerly await our return, and Crowell is in particular has few matters she is keen to discuss, one of which concerns you, Estinian. Believe it or not, you will join us, won't you? Fine. Estinian, like, man. <laughs> I thought you I'll be said right you back. were avoiding the bus. That Baldessian woman. All right, can, uh, all right, Swish. If I if I refuse, she would only pursue me, and she would. Let's get this over with, shall we? Hey man, I want a Stinny in to join the science of the Seven Dawn, man. Stop playing with me. We got Graha. Graha is a new member. Let's get a Stinny in there, man. Get my boy in there. A Stinny in for the Scions, man. Get him on in. Sataru gonna find him anyways. No matter where he go, she gonna find him. All right, chat. Let's see what's cracking. See what's going on in these. And thank you, everybody, who just in here chilling, watching the stream, you know. Appreciate y'all. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, 
and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophoroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. Of Charlian? It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. I trust all right. you all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Valdesian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. All right. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I think... I think it was near the end of the Dragon Song War. Yeah. When you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since. Not in all your time in the first, when you faced the Unzodiac. History shows us that Heidelin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in his judgment. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the first, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reem. But that was not the will of Hydaelyn. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder. Could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Uriangé's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Yeah, that's true. Then again, who am I to say? Uh... The fact is, we simply don't know. All right, but if the all explanation right, all right. is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Man, that's she brought. She asking the real questions now. Hmm. 
Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again, will you join us? Hell no, he gonna be, no, no, no. <clears throat> Why? He gonna say, see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. Yep. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. So is my boy about to say yes? Yeah? Be too heavy for most. To Hold on, chat. Estinian for Estinian for the seven the seven dias. Estinian, join Is he joining? But is this happening? You bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? He's joining! Yes, my man! Sir. Yes, sir! Estinian is in the seventh side. Whatever the fuck we called. You have my word. Your big brother joined. Look at he happy. My boy, happy. Look at Grahad to your nerdy ass. Okay. <laughs> and now I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all. Oh, swish, swish. In this little corner of the world. Remember, um, in the last live letter we had, the um, the the one we all watched together. Remember, they said Estinian was gonna be um, jo um, what you call it? Pl in the um, damn, when we go in the dungeons and we can pick. You know the people to go in dungeons with. That's why, that's why he on uh, he a part of it now. He got added because he yeah. joined he joined us here. So when a new expansion come, you know we'll be he will be able to go in the dungeons and shit with him. The trust system or whatever. Yeah, the trust system. That's why he got added to you the trust be system. Because he joined us. Tread warily in Charlian. Yeah. And try not to let the forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. It all, it's all coming together. I shall do my very best. Farewell. Hey, Astinian throw them hand. Hey, Astinian say anytime want, anybody want that smoke, I got it. Right mm -hmm. here. Anybody want that smoke? Hey, I'm dishing it out. I watched my mans destroy a freaking gigantic cannon. One shot a cannon. No, oh, man, this does not play. He does not play, boy. He he knocked that behind me down one, one hit. Knocked him down to the ground. Behemoth's like, wait a minute. This man he ain't hit different. <laughs> Look at all these weapons on the ground. Xenos did say he need a new weapon. I'm trying to look and see if they they got the weapon out there in plain sight. Ooh, that sword, nice though. Hey, I want that. I see you, you can get it. The one, the katana that he's holding. Yeah, you can get that from where? Yeah, that's uh, 
you gotta go to Rogers Reach. It's the shit you can buy with the tomes from there. That bitch clean. What that hilt look like though? That's, that's what, what I got. That's what I use for my for my Dark Knight. Apparently not. Or could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? He, he don't care about them dragons. You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. You don't care about them dragons. It will not affect our plans, I trust. It don't. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? You know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> a mighty empire now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction what a pleasure it will be to put it to use which brings me back to our earlier topic my lord while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision it really is past time you chose your weapon A lot of these weapons is familiar. Is one that I have been meaning to test. Come on, y'all better show it. Come on, show it. Show it. Don't play, bro. Well, well. Not quite. Oh right. man, they gonna do this. Oh, they I gonna do this. Say, it does seem rather yeah. They ah oh, they blocked it off. They said, nope, y'all gotta wait till the fan fest next month. <laughs> Why, bro?